Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Using Barrister's Reserve Cool today, it's my daughter's end of year concert for her full time dancing, which she does Monday to Friday. And she's got a solo part this year, which I'm looking really forward to watching. And, and she's worked so hard this year. She's only 13, so it's a massive achievement for her to get through full time dancing and through all the schooling as well. So I'm going to be using a soap and splash today, which I absolutely love. And that's Barrister's Reserve Cool. This is the reserve base from Barrister and Man. It's a phenomenal soap. It's pretty hard, if I'm honest, to get the lather right. I'm using a brush today, which will make things probably a little bit more difficult. If anything, I'm just going to flick some of this out in the shiver. I'm using the Razor Rock Hulk. This is a 34 millimeter knot or 35, I can't remember. It's massive, absolutely enormous, the Hulk. It's a beast. Straight into the dry soap. Now, Barrister's Reserve Cool is based off of Floyd Blue, or Floyd Blue, I, don't know, I think it's Floyd Blue which is a really, really beautiful scent. It's lovely, it's like, almost like a barber shot with a sort of zingy twist to it. Well, this one is at least. Very, very cologne -y. very fresh. There's not a lot of, it's not a scent that everyone likes, but I love it. My wife enjoys it, and that's the main thing. So, really loading this up. Now, this is quite a, well, it's not quite a thirsty soap. It's a very thirsty soap. So, I'm gonna load this brush here, and it's gonna take me an eternity to get my lather going, but, You'll see the results when they're done. I think you will know you can see that. It's really gloopy. And that is how the reserve base sort of works. So that should be absolutely shit tons. Wipe my face. I'll scoop out the excess, which there isn't a lot of. The house is going to be a little bit noisy. There's not much I can do about that. I noticed yesterday with my shave that the, or the today when I loaded, uploaded it, but it was recorded yesterday, it didn't actually come out in 1080p. So I was a bit surprised. I don't know what happened. This is the front-facing camera on the new iPhone XS. Well, this is the Max version, but I think all the specs are the exact same. It's just a bigger screen. And bigger battery. Right, so pretty much painted on and this is just going to be a case of dip and paint. Now this brush might be enormous but it makes an absolutely beautiful ladder. Now when I say it's enormous, it is enormous. You can see in my hand It even dwarfed the 30mm Magard two-band badger that I had in my previous Wolf Whiskers brush, which I sold on. So all I'm looking for is the soap to be translucent all over. This will be a bit of a test, actually, to see whether this lather technique I sort of stumbled across the way I lather in terms of painting water in will work with Barrister's Reserve which is notoriously quite a difficult soap to lather for many people to get it right anyway. If you watch West Coast Shaving Channel, there's a video on there where Will from Barrister of Man, the, the artisan for Barrister of Man, explains the best way to lather it. I've had very mixed results. I'm just going to dip the tips once more. And we're pretty much there. So you can see that's pretty much translucent all over on my neck, all the way around. There's obviously a bit of white here and there, but Let's play the brush. Now, even though this is a massive brush, it is very ergonomic. It's very comfortable to hold. It splays quite easy as well. It's got plenty of scrub, but it splays very easily. It is enormous on your face, but not too big. And surprisingly, when this was sent over, I can't remember who sent me this brush. It was one of the subscribers to the channel and he's a really nice guy. 
just sent it over as a just I just want to send you a brush over just to see what you think. And I thought this was more of a gimmick. But I can assure you it's not. This brush is the real deal. It makes a lather as good as any brush I've got. It's very, very soft face feel. But it's got lovely scrub. It does everything, and I mean everything you want from a brush. Does it make a good lather? You tell me. Look at that. Absolutely sensational. It smells great, it feels great, it's voluminous, it's creamy, it's dense. The brush works phenomenally well. Like I I always talk this brush up big time when I use it. I mean that ladder is incredible. The brush is kite, there's enough there to do four head shaves at least. Right, let's get stuck in. The Christopher Bradley Carve Razor. C plate with the fourth use Gillette, and that's it, one of my favourite blades. And here we go. Got pretty much 24 hours growth. Someone posted down below in my last video what, what what's the difference between this razor and the Rockwell? For me, this razor is smoother than the Rockwell, which for me, before this razor, was the smoothest razor I had used. It is far. Now I only had the Rockwell 6C, but I have seen the Rockwell 6S. On videos, and I can tell you right now the quality on the build on this razor. Far exceeds what Rockwell's razor's got. And this is super slick as well. Oh yeah. That scent is absolutely lovely. It's nowhere near as slick as vintage Old Spice soap. Is Barrister Man one of the best soaps in the world? In my opinion, yeah, it is. It always has been since I started using it. People will always, if you were part of or were around when the, the big sort of fallout happened with Passiflora, with Peter Chakalis, will always either be on the fence, will purchase or won't purchase Barrister Man. For me, it's a no brainer. What happened between Peter and Will is what happened between Peter and Will. 
the soap is incredible. The brush makes it incredible as well. It's slick, it's thick, it's glossy, it's protected, it does everything you want. I'm still, this is the best lather I think I've got from Reserve. I still think, for me personally, the, the Seville, the Seville, the Glissant base is easier to work with. But if you'd use that technique, you can see that technique that I use to actually get the lather going works so well. Right, it's off. Pass number three. What shave this is, I tell you. So the performance that my daughter's doing tonight, the whole performance is called La Bayadere. And the dance that my daughter will be featuring in, that's one of the lead solos, is called, well, I think loosely translated as Dance of Drum, the drum dance. It's a very fast paced dance. I don't know whether we'll have a video tonight of it that we can buy, but I'm looking forward to seeing it for the first time. really enjoy the angle of this camera as well, it seems to pick more up of the shave when I move my neck and stuff, it seems to keep everything in the screen, whereas before, with the rear facing camera on the iPhone 7, it wasn't quite as good. I'm just going to go solar. That direction at the corners today, and I'm going to down to the lips. I just don't think my skin is built for against the grain. Now, I've been doing against the grain here for quite a while. And yesterday, for whatever reason, I paid the price. Now, I do think that I had a bit of a reaction to the Old Spice Vintage Soap. Just 
and that was also a warm water shave because the weather, believe it or not, is at a shit again. Right, I'll let that dry in a little bit. Look at that brush, watch this. Look at the gloss on that. Absolutely sensational. It's slick, it's really dense. It's super hydrate. I mean, that's really hydrate. That technique that, that I did there in the beginning, especially with this big brush. I didn't add any more water, I don't think, did it? I might have had one or two. No, I don't think I did actually add any more water. I think that just worked. I'm right, just going to rinse the brush out now. It takes a little bit longer with this brush because it is enormous. And once you get that lather deep in the knot, it takes a little bit longer to get it back in. Flick it in the shimmer so you can see that's still sort of all, see it's all stuck and wide and opened and there's gaps. That tells me that there's still a lot of soap down the base. Now once you've got most of that soap out of the base, near where the, the glue bump is, the knot down the bottom, and you give it a real good flick, it will look more uniform. That's which I'll show you in a minute. There'll still be gaps, it'll still stick together, but you'll see the difference, you'll know what I mean. So you can see there, it's still there, but you can see how much more uniform it is. Now what that tells me is this is pretty much ready to be toweled, and once I towel it will take the moisture off the tips, it will then splay, splay up and split up again. You can see already just flicking my fingers through it, look at the difference. So make sure whenever you finish, especially with massive dense knots, to get as much of the moisture out as you can, as much of the soap, sorry. And then once you whack it on the towel, you get that. The things you learn on the way. Now pretty much everything on this channel, if you're new to it, has been learned from watching people. But a lot of it, like that, the brush, the ladder technique and all that, is things I've just stumbled across during my journey. And the ladder technique, as you saw, works. Doesn't work much better than anything else you can do, in my opinion. One thing I'm a little bit disappointed about this year, I was hoping, I was hoping and praying that Will was only having a bit of a laugh and a joke about Fujio Gothic, Fujio Gothic, from Barrister Man. Best scented soap that I own, in my opinion. I love it, I don't have to splash. I was hoping he would release it again, but I can still get the EDT. I think he's going to continue making that, but he's not making the soap anymore, so I was gutted, but it's such a superb soap. Post shave, feels great, but what will feel even better with some Barristers Reserve Cool. Now this is the old bottle, as you can see the liquid inside is bright blue. I think in the new bottles it's not coloured, I think from memory. Good splash of this one. Does it get much better than that? Look at all that menthol. Yes. Stunning. Absolutely stuff. What a shave. Um, that was incredible. Right. Where did it all start? It starts with this. Barrister's Reserve. Cool. Blue Rose. Believe it or not, this is actually the flowers from my wedding. That was the flowers that my wife wore. Blue Rose. I know that's upside down. It's a blue rose with a thistle that was my flower. Blue Rose. Absolutely stunning scent. Oh, I tell you what, I'd love to smell real Floyd Blue just to compare, but from what I've heard, it's a very, very, very good clone. Splash to finish, and the brush today was the Hulk. It is a beast. Razor Rock Hulk. It makes a beast of a ladder. It is one of my favourite brushes, without doubt. It's not a brush I could use every day, but if you want to smash through your soap, so you've got soap you want to get rid of. This is the brush you want, because it will chew through your soaps big time. It's probably made a good dent in that soap, even though that's... Now, one thing you'll find with Reserve, when you first get it, it'll be soft. It'll be almost like a crope, a sort of semi-firm soap. 
when the more you use it and leave it out to air and dry and things like that, it becomes quite firm. It almost turns into the feeling of the glisson, but it still lathers the same as it did in the beginning with the reserve when it was softer. So you do have to add a lot of water. As you saw, that was a lot of painting of water in there, but you can see the results. They speak for themselves. The car of Christopher Bradley Razor with the C plate, Gillette Nasset fourth use, and it was as smooth as smooth as smooth. Beautiful razor blades, it really are the Nassets. Skin feels incredible. And that scent is absolutely spot on. The longevity on it, you get I get a good sort of five to eight hours out of the scent from Barrister's Reserve Cool. The menthol's incredible. Skin feel, post shave, everything. Spot on. What an amazing shave. I can't wait to get to my daughter's dancing. You guys stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.